Hello everyone, Surat here again, and you may be wondering what you are looking at. Well, recently, and I'm not sure how recent it is, but apparently Nintendo finally decided to tap into actual online Pokemon games, and have started by making an official Pokemon trading card game online. Yeah. Interesting enough, you've got Trainer Challenge, you've got Versus Mode, and you've got Tournaments. I haven't played it all that much, haven't really unlocked a lot, but I have played a few Trainer Challenges. And for this, I will show you that, yes, it's actually a fairly well-done little game. Eh, black and blue, yeah, I'll use the basic blue deck. So far, I've had good luck with it so far. Yeah. And yeah, that's my character with the dopey look on his face. I don't care. I wasn't too worried about what my avatar in this looked like, because pretty much everything here... But yeah, it works pretty much the same as every... It works pretty much exactly like it should. And I'm going to get absolutely stomped. The only car the only card I have is that. Eesh. It's the only Pokemon I can start with. So yeah, this is exactly what it looks like, and I'm going to get just absolutely crushed due to having absolutely no good Pokemon in my deck. Yeah. And he gets to take three of my cards. And put them in my deck. And notice, oh, I finally have another card I can play there. That works. Let's go ahead and em start emptying out my hand here. I have no energy. So he's going to just crush my characters here. The point wasn't to win a match, and I'm obviously not going to win this one. Yeah, I'm a sleep Pokemon. Is my Pokemon asleep there? I don't know. So anyway, nothing I can do here except just get beaten. Got the worst draw known to man. Oh well. Yep, there goes Oshawott. The first one anyway. Oh goody, he can do nothing. In resistance, yeah. So yeah, that ends my game because I'm out of Pokemon to play. So yeah, I had a really, really bad run there. Worst game I've played in a very long time. But anyway, I decided to show you guys that because of what my Let's Play is going to be. And my Let's Play that I'm picking is a direct result of this showing up and landing. Yes, yeah, in beta. I will include a link to it down at the down in the description, don't worry. But for the actual let's play itself Yes! The Pokemon trading card game Way back for the Game Boy Color. Yeah. Wonder how many people knew this thing actually existed, huh? Yeah, this is what I'm actually going to be Let's Playing. Directly inspired by them releasing a beta of the online version. Ah. Uh. So there's me. Or my Pokemon representation of me with bandana and all that. So... They give me exactly six letters. Perfect amount for me. And no, I'm not really that crazy about the card game. I just like the battling game, yeah. But I did own this back in the day. I did beat it. And I had a rather nasty little deck. Relied entirely too much on coin flips and all that, but that's beside the point. I'll be seeing if I can recreate that. 
So rumors, legendary Pokemon cards, extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card games' greatest players, the Grandmasters searching for one to inherit the legend, blah 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 blah, we want to do that. So now it is time to visit Dr. Mason. And this is all pretty much automatically handled for me, so why the rush? Yes, we want to learn how to play the card game. Yep, tutorial. For those of you that have never seen the card game, have no idea what was going on in that little clip I showed from the online thing, let's go through the rules now. That will be a decent opening. Yeah, that, that's kind of why we're here. We want to start playing. That's debatable. I've seen some of the people that duel. Yeah, practice decks pretty good anyway. It doesn't have much in the way of good tricks in it, and doesn't have very many great uh, Pokemon. But we will get our hand held through a game here. So here we go, here are all the things we will need to do, all the things we will need to know how to, you know, play the game. First, energy, one of the most important things. You noticed me lamenting it in that one little clip I played from the online game. Yep, must have energy cards. No energy cards attached, Pokemon not be able to attack or retreat. Seven types. As of the making of this game, I know they've added more since. Remember, this is 1998, long before we had 600 some odd Pokemon. We have Grass, Fire, Water, Lightning, Psychic, Fighting, and Colorless. Type of energy required depends on Pokemon. Makes sense, right? Yep, learn which Pokemon need which type of energy. So attacking. Pokemon damage defending Pokemon by attacking and need energy cards in order to attack. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And you will see this when we actually get into the game a little bit. Sea King has a waterfall attack. It requires a water and a colorless energy. Mana for those of you who played Magic the Gathering. Colorless energy is essentially energy of any type, just in case that was the rookie right there. Yep, and Pokemon will get different attacks that have different needs for energy requirements. Retreating. It wouldn't be a Pokemon game if you couldn't recall a Pokemon. Yep, switch your active Pokemon with a bench. Choose Retreat Command. If the active Pokemon's in danger, move it back to the bench. And sometimes you will have to pay a cost. Most times you will have to pay something to get that Pokemon out of there. Yep. Number of energy cards required to pay, and when you do this you have to discard them, which is really, really annoying. And yes, you can evolve. You have three basic types of cards, Basic, Stage 1, and Stage 2 Pokemon. For example, Squirtle's a basic, War Turtle Stage 1, Blastoise Stage 2. Those of you familiar with Pokemon, well, that will catch on pretty quick. Those of you that aren't, it'll make more sense when I start playing. Basic Pokemon are the only ones that you can start playing. You have to have the basic before you can put the level 1 in play, and the level 1 before you can put the level 2, blah blah blah. See, so you need Squirtle in play to play War Turtle. War Turtle needed to play Blastoise, etc. Some Pokemon have powers. Some are used when things played. Some you must activate. Ending turn. ends after you attack if you do not if you are not able to attack you can just end a turn
Whoops. Yep. And the duel is decided one of many ways. Prizes are the cards you may draw when you knock out one of your opponent's Pokémon. You win if you knock out as many of your opponent's Pokémon as there are prizes to be drawn. Fairly simple. Knock out Pokémon, draw prize. You draw last prize, you win. Or, if somebody gets decked, which is the which is the appropriate term for somebody that has to draw a card but doesn't have anything left in their deck, you they lose. Or, if you have no Pokemon in play, which is what happened to me at the beginning of that last, uh, or the, well, to finish off that little match I showed you earlier, yeah, that's what happened to me. I ran out of Pokemon in my play area. So, game over. So that's how, that's the bare basics of Pokemon. The trading card game. Yes, that is all. So now let's actually play a game and we will get our hand held through it completely. And by this, I mean we have to do exactly what he says. Yeah, we don't get to shuffle the deck or anything, even though video game, so. Start out with a can of seven cards. And... Yeah. It'll only let you pick basic Pokémon. Like said earlier, to start out with the one in play. And we get to pick Goldeen to start with. Now we have a bench, and we can only put basic Pokémon on this bench. And we only have one basic Pokémon in hand, Staryu. We also have two Water Energy, a Psychic Energy, and a Sea King, which we will be able to evolve Goldie into later. We are done, and now we get prizes. For most matches, it will be six prizes. For this practice match, two. And because, you know, we win the toss, we go first. And we drew more energy. Use the attack, you have to attach energy cards to the Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu, select Water Energy Card. You choose your active Pokemon and press the A button. Water Energy Card will then be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting the command and select Horn Attack. So, we gotta check our hand, pick Water Energy, like he says, and attach it to Goldeen. You can only attach one energy card from your hand per turn. This is an important rule to think about. So, let's see... And it does some damage to Machop there. Now it's his turn. Fighting energy. Low kick. And we take damage. More water energy. And now Goldeen is in danger of actually getting knocked out. So, a Sea King will give it more hit points. We do. So, 
Let's check Seeking here. Whenever you check a card, it actually comes up like this. So what do you see? You see Horn Attack for 1 and Waterfall for 2. Waterfall does 30. Very much nicer. We want to do 30 points of damage per turn. So that means we want to put, you know, more energy on them. However, since our deck seems to be based around water, good idea not to use all of our water energy on, uh, on Seeking if we don't have to. So, let's go ahead first, we attach Le Psychic Energy to Goldine. Then we evolve it, just like this, like he says. And now that it's got enough to do a, his uh, better attack, now Machop is almost dead. Draws a card and gets a bench Pokemon. Rattata gets energy. Machop sends out a low kick. And we take damage. More water energy. Good for us. Yeah, we don't need to attach any more. And I don't think we ever will need to. I don't recall if there is a Sea King Evolve. Been a while since I've had to deal with Sea Kings and Goldings and all that. I'm pretty sure Sea King is the highest we get, so two will be enough forever. Yeah, attach Water Energy to Staryu. Yes, we can attach Water Energy to Bench Pokemon to get them ready for when they've got to go in. Staryu has water energy attached now, which is good for later. In my play area. And so far, all it has is slap. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but we don't need it to yet. We also have no way to evolve it yet, but we will soon. I know how this goes. Also, there is no reason not to use Waterfall, but the game says, ah, just use Horn Attack to finish it off since it does exactly enough. There's no reason not to use Waterfall. It has no drawbacks. There are other attacks later which will have drawbacks, but for now, we just do as the game says and use the weaker attack because it finishes off the chop there. There are some attacks where you'll have to you, you'll have to sacrifice like energy cards and such. Oh, let's see. We get to choose a prize now. We've beaten, we've knocked out an opponent's Pokemon, so we get to choose a prize. And surprise, surprise, we get water energy into our hand. And Sam has put Rattata into the front row now, since he had to put somebody in the front row. And he evolved Rotat and Eradicate. Not good for us. Not, that's, that's not good. And he's just attached more energy to Eradicate. Or he can bite us and do 20 damage to Seeking. And we drew a Drowsy. Hmm. Yeah. We covered that. So, we're going to play you. And now we can attack with Waterfall and take you down halfway. More energy to eradicate there. 
And that will finish off our poor Sea King. And now Sam gets his first trident card. Choose a benched Pokemon. We have Drowsy and Staryu, so let's choose Staryu. Yes, it is. And we get a potion. Potion will help. Yeah. Star, you can evolve to Starmie. So if we happen to get a Starmie card, we can play it and make Star you stronger. We actually have to do everything in the uh, list there. You attack, that ends a turn, and you get to miss your turn of detaching energy. Which is never happy. And this just about knocks out Radicate there. And Machop lands on the bench. Machop gets energy. And Radicate now leaves. Which, not good for us. Because suddenly we can't knock this guy out in one turn. And there's no Seeking, which doesn't help us a bit. So, first, potion, good, full heal, if you're wondering, just works on sleep, confusion, paralyze, and all that. It didn't actually re restore hit points. That's what the potions are for. Okay. Slap. Fighting energy. Get another low kick to our, well, gym, I guess, since there is no face there. And aha! Luck would have it, we can now evolve Star You there. Let's see, we could do something else here, but let's just go ahead and do exactly as it says. Starmie now has more hit points and will survive another attack if it gets hit. And Starfreeze just happens to do something nasty called Paralysis. I love Paralysis, just in case you're wondering. And yeah, Machop, being paralyzed, couldn't attack. But it goes away between turns. So if Paralysis lands, it basically locks up the Pokémon for the next turn. And then you get to try to paralyze it again. And again. And again. And it gets paralyzed again anyway, even though it's getting knocked out. And we draw our last prize and win the game.
This is it. And it's not actually that long a game. There's a lot of repeated dueling in there that I'm going to grind off screen. Yeah, so now we get our starter deck. And because of who I am, I don't get to pick the deck I really, really want to to begin with. But just like the normal, you know, JRPG out there, we can pick from a Charmander, a Squirtle, or a Bulbasaur deck. I've always liked the little red dragon, so I will always pick Charmander for this. Yes. And we get a whole bunch of cards. Yep. Many, many people playing at the clubs. Collecting new cards, building new decks. Ah, I love collectible card games. I am terrible playing them, but I actually love them. And because this has gone on for so long, I'm calling it a video here. When we return, we figure out just exactly where we can go in this big wide world of Pokemon collectible card gaming. So, until then, take care folks. See you next time.